The Fastest Tortoise in Town by Howard Calvert I've entered a running race. What have I done? Me, Barbara Hendricks, just a regular leopard tortoise, racing against other animals. I'm seven days time. That's just one week. What do you think my chances of winning are? I would say zero. No chance of taking home the trophy. After all, I'm well known for being slow. But somehow, my owner and best friend, Lorraine, believes in me. I've never seen a faster tortoise than you, Barbara Hendricks, she says. Lorraine decides that I should do some training. Strengthen your muscles, she says. Build your stamina. I'm confused. I thought muscles lived in the ocean. Lorraine begins to take me out for walks every single day. On Monday, we're overtaken by an absent-minded worm. On Tuesday, by Lily, who just learned to walk. On Wednesday, by Lorraine's great-grandpa, on his way to feed the ducks. On Thursday, by Arlo's remote-controlled Brachiosaurus. And on Friday, we're overtaken by Mr. Beaton's out-of-control robo-vacuum cleaner. That pushes me over the edge. I can't do this. It's impossible. But Lorraine tells me it's perfectly normal to be worried. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Just run your own race. Let's rest and eat ice cream tomorrow. Before I know it, it is Sunday, race day. It's definitely a stay in my shell type of day. No legs out, head staying firmly in. Then I hear Lorraine's voice. Barbara Hendricks, I know you can hear me. You don't have to race today if you don't want to, but how will you know if all this training was worth anything if you stay in your shell? She's right. Just think of it as a walk, continues Lorraine. Our walk we do every day, together. She's got me. So away we go to the stadium. I steal a glance at my competitors, a slug, a slow loris, a sloth, and a woody and grumpy walrus. I turn even greener. Look at them. The best of the best, the fastest animals I've ever seen. We line up at the start. It takes all my tortoise powers to stop me from popping back into my shell. The mayor raises her megaphone. On your marks. Get set. Go! I put one foot in front of the other, then do it again, and again, and again. Before long, I am flying. The wind is whistling through my shell. The crowd blurs around me. I stumble over the finish line. I've done it. I finished. I raced. The mayor has an announcement to make. The winner is Barbara Hendricks. The crowd roars. It seems like a dream, but it's real and it feels magnificent. As we leave, a hair bounds over.
You're pretty fast for a tortoise, he says. Know what I think? I think we should race. I peer up at Lorraine. Why not, she says. She's right. After all, what do I have to lose? Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time.